Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blog. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can create an audio reactive circle wave spectrum in VSCC free video editor. Now, it's actually super easy to create an audio reactive circle wave spectrum in VSTC. So without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now to demonstrate this, first I would like to add an audio spectrum on top of the screen. But before I do that, I would like to play this video for you. So I will be using the audio from this video to demonstrate this tutorial. So let me just quickly play the video for you. Like with John Scully, um, John came from PepsiCo and they, they at most would change their product, you know, once every 10 years. I mean, to them, a new product was like a new size bottle, right? So if you were a product. All right. Now let me just delete this video. And first, what we will do is we will go to add object and then go to audio visualization and then select spectrum. Now select the video whose audio you want to use. So let me just select the video which I played to you a couple of seconds earlier and then click on open and now click on OK. Now mark your audio spectrum on top of the screen like this and let me just center align this audio spectrum. So first click on horizontal align center and then click on vertical align center. Now look inside the audio spectrum object settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside type currently gradiented peaks is selected. So click on this drop down list and select gradiented lines. Inside line width currently the value is 2. So delete this value and write 8 and then press enter. Inside number of bands, currently the value is 32. So delete this value and write 4 and then press enter. Perfect. Now double click on the audio spectrum object which is present in the timeline. Now go to video effects, go to transforms, select distort and then click on OK. Now look inside the distort effect settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside type currently faceted glass is selected. So click on this drop down list and select polar coordinates. Now what we are going to do is we will set the inner radius and outer radius of this particular circle. As you can see the circle is now visible but we will set the inner radius and outer radius of this circle. So let me just increase the inner radius and let me just increase the outer radius as well. Perfect. This looks perfect to me. I have set the inner radius at 59.25% and I have set the outer radius at 110.39% and this to me is perfect. Now sector start angle is set at 0 degree so that's fine. Sector end angle is set at 360 degree so that's fine as well. Inside angle currently the value is 0 degree. So I would like to delete this and instead of 0 I would like to write 270 and then press enter. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. Now what is happening is the circle is reacting to the audio. So obviously we cannot hear the audio and I have not imported the audio as well. So that's the reason we are not able to hear the audio. but the circle is reacting to the audio. So let me just import the audio. So go back to the main editing timeline and now go to add object and select video. Now select the video whose audio you used in the audio spectrum. So let me just import the video which I had played for you in the beginning. 
Now click on this video and look inside the video object settings. If you scroll down below, you will find this option called split to video and audio. So click on this option. And the moment you click on this option, the audio and video will get separated. Now delete the video. Perfect. And as you can see in the timeline, I just have the audio now. So if I just quickly play this thing for you. Like with John Scully, um, John came from PepsiCo and they, they at most would change their product, you know, once every 10 years. I mean, to them, a new product was like a new size bottle, right? So if you were a product person, you couldn't change the course of that company very much. All right. Now, as you can see, the circle is reacting to the audio. Now, next, what we are going to do is we will add an ellipse object inside the circle. So go to add object and then select ellipse and now click on OK. Now mark your ellipse object inside the circle like this. All right. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I will insert an image of Steve Jobs inside the ellipse object. So double click on the ellipse object and go to add object and select image. So I've already downloaded an image of Steve Jobs in my downloads folder. So let me just select that and now click on open. And finally click on OK. Now let me just resize my image. All right, this looks perfect to me. Now click on this blend option and select source in. Perfect, perfect. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you, change their product, you know, once every 10 years. I mean, to them, a new product was like a new size bottle, right? So if you were a product person, you couldn't change the course of that company very much. Perfect. And finally, what you can do is you can write Steve Jobs right here below. So let me just go to add object, go to text, click on text and now click on OK. Now mark your text object below like this. And let me just write let's say Steve Jobs and let me just center align my text by going to paragraph and then selecting center and once again going to paragraph and then selecting center align. Let me change the font from Arial to Montserrat black and let me increase the text size to somewhere around let's say 50 pixels. Perfect. And so finally, if I just quickly play the video for you. Like with John Scully, um, John came from PepsiCo and they, they at most would change their product, you know, once every 10 years. I mean, to them, a new product was like a new size bottle, right? So if you were a product person, you couldn't change the course of that company very much. Perfect. So this is how you can create an audio reactive circle wave spectrum in VSCC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.